Hi, so um, here's a funky little idea for you guys. Um, now, this doesn't look like much, but mathematically it's a very interesting idea that I've been tooling around with this past week and really enjoy. I'm going to call this a harmonic hybrid for right now, and I'll tell you guys why. Um, lately, because of the Python simulator I've been using to model out coy moves, I've been having to play around with the parametric equations that describe um, all the different roulette patterns that we do, the hypotrochoids and the epitrochoids. And there's a really, really interesting kind of mathematical relationship to how they work, which is that parametric equations care about when you're drawing a circle, when you return to the point of origin where you started the circle, right? So, um, for instance, if my hand and my poi are doing an extension, the variables for the parametric equation for this would be uh, one cycle for hand, one cycle for poi, right? If, on the other hand, I was doing uh, a two-petal spin flower like this, the mathematical relationship would be for every one revolution that my hand does, the poi does three revolutions. That is three downbeats. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Right? And it, it works for anti-spin too, of course. Uh, a, a, a one to three relationship in anti-spin is a four petal anti-spin flower. Once again, it's one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Right? Um, and what's interesting about this to me is that um, back at Fire Drums, um, Tom Thumb and I had a really interesting conversation about thinking of these mathematical relationships as uh, being a metaphor for like uh, the intervals between musical notes. Um, so, because I used to play guitar, I think about this in terms of guitar strings. If you have a guitar string, um, just an open string, and you play it, it sounds out of note. If you uh, push down your finger exactly halfway down that string, on either side, if you sound out the note, it's the octave of the open note, right? It's, it's a one to two ratio. The, uh, the string vibrates at twice uh, the frequency that it did when it was open. And likewise, if you move your finger to one third of the way down the string, the side that's open and has two thirds open is going to play musically what we would consider to be a perfect fifth. Um, the side that is one third plays what's called an overtone, and I can't remember off the top of my head what note the overtone is in that case, but stick with me here. Um, this is a hybrid wherein both hands and poi are completing one circle. It's a one to one ratio on each side. Technically speaking, on the cat eye side, it's a one to negative one ratio. Um, if I were to switch this out to the octave, I wind up with this, in which case both hands and poi are performing uh, two downbeats for every one downbeat that the hands are doing, right? And as you can see, it results in triquetra versus a one pedal in spin. In other words, we've described both sides of the harmonic scale if, if we were holding down uh, the guitar string. I know I'm stretching this metaphor a lot, please stick with me on it. The next step would be performing um, a flower that is a 2 to 3 ratio with another flower that's a 1 to 3 ratio. I think it's going to be easier to do the anti-spin 2 to 3. Anti-spin 2 to 3 is a pentagram. That is, for every two rotations, that my hand does, the poi does uh, three rotations. It, it doesn't break down exactly evenly, and that's that's why it's got kind of a wonky appearance to it. The in-spin side of that would be a one to three ratio, wherein we did that at the beginning, that's a two pedal. It's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And I'm not at the point where I can do pentagram versus two pedal in-spin just yet. I'm I, I, I've only gotten down uh, pentagram versus woo, extension so far, but yeah. there it is. But that'll be the to-do list for this coming week, and 
Yeah, I think some really interesting things will come out of playing around with those relationships. And you know, because we're playing with the full harmonic scale there, I like to think of it as being a harmonic hybrid. So, I will be the first to admit, this is totally math, tech, poi, geek, wonkery, but um, I find it amusing, and I hope you guys, do, uh, you guys do too. So, thank you all for watching. Sorry, that's, uh, that's five minutes of your lives you're never getting back. My bad. Um, for those who appreciate it, though, thank you for watching. Peace for now.